Hello, Glycier Aquaria. In the last part, we um, defeated a boss in a city and we lost Lee to some weird tentacle thing. And then, like, a boy opened up this area, uh, which is called the body. We found out when I saved my game, but I didn't point it out. And so now we're going through the body. Um, I would like the map most of the time. I think actually I can't go um, down here. Yeah, that you're blocked here, so you gotta go right. And I, I'm apparently going down this way. And we found Lee. But he's kind of stuck in a thing. And we can't do anything about that yet. So, uh, see ya. <laughs> No, I'm not ending the episode. That was just the Sia of Goodbye Lee. Uh, so it does appear to be bright enough here. So. I don't know why I was in solar form. Oh, because it's not bright enough for the map. It's just bright enough to see. Oh. Hello. You look hostile. Oh, there was a treasure plant there. I guess I should, like, kill some dudes. So that I can sing safely. Stuff. Okay. Got stuff. I'll, I'll take a couple leaves. Not exactly what I expect by the, this point in the game, but, you know, leaves, they're, they're used in making healing items, which I'm pretty short on after that last boss fight. I'll need to restock before the end of the game, definitely. Alright, so, uh, there's stuff here. shooting stuff here. You'll notice there are four kind of pathways off of here, and I don't think we can actually go down. Um, not yet. And there were like four little things stuck to Lee, and those two facts aren't actually related at all. Oh man, we, we just can't go ahead without Lee. So, um... I don't actually know if it would have prevented me from hitting down there, but we should really get Lee. Um, you know, he's kind of like the last man on the planet or something. <laughs> um. No, that's a wall. That one, however, is not a wall. <laughs> you know, sometimes things are in the foreground, sometimes they're in the background, sometimes they're in the middle ground. <laughs> I guess you would just say on stage, but this isn't a play. I think I want to go right here. <laughs> you know, something gives me the distinct impression that right was the correct way to go. So, you know, there, there are things that shoot. I could probably just, like, shield up and run through this whole area. I think I would get poisoned if I actually let one of these hit me. Whoa! Okay. Poison's kind of awful, because, like, it deals a lot of bonus damage unless you cure it. And then it wears off. And I still don't know my colors. Oh, plump pierogi. What does that do? Is it, like, a pierogi but plus two? Uh, it, it is. Energy shot plus two, defense plus two. And the defense bonus lasts one third the duration of the attack bonus. What's the recipe? Recipe is... Oh, a pierogi plus a mushroom. That's not difficult to convert. I should definitely make a few of those sometime. I should definitely remember that I'm not in energy form when I'm not in energy form. So I think that guy also poisons, like some sort of jerk. I'm always wrong about these sickly green looking projectiles poisoning you. But I I don't want to demo it. I'll probably get hit at some point anyway. 
Well, I got hit there, but you know what I meant. Get hit by those green things. The spirit of an Aurelian messenger. I should have dealt with the enemies. Uh, probably gonna get hit when this ends. Uh, okay, I didn't get hit when it ended. So now we've got a thing orbiting us. And we're gonna get four of those things. We got an arcane poultice, which is nice. Full life. Always a good time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we get four things, and it's not related to the four things that we're holding the bubble Lee was in. They just happened to both be four. I mean, maybe it was intentionally coordinated, but it's not like we're lifting a thing with each passage we go down. How did that not hit me? Now that I'm complaining. So, uh, I like to right click a lot when I'm in energy form. So that's when I'm not in energy form, but I think I am. You end up seeing the song menu a lot repeatedly. Wait, is there a treasure plant up there? Because, uh. <laughs> I mean, the, the area was wide enough that there could be. Okay, there isn't. Oh, and also there's still current up there, even though it doesn't look like there was. That was the other reason I thought there might be something, because it looked like the current would stopped. Alright. I guess I'm staying in beast form, because currents. They're done, but still currents. I don't think I need any more justification than that particular word. Hey, here's a current. And we're getting off here because this is the way to the next passage. And it's actually the same room as the lower part, for some reason. <laughs> they're, they're not at all connected, besides through this room. That is to say, they're not connected with their own room. Um, but you know, you might as well reveal extra parts of the map randomly. Um, probably... Oh yeah, things in the background that like attack you. But as long as you like keep moving, they tend to miss. Yeah, I'm more worried about those things on the walls. And when they hide in spikes, sometimes I don't notice them. So we're uh, going past all the chompy things. Yeah, let's go farther right. Uh, See, I don't even need to dash. None of this hits me. But, you know, dashing, it's more fun. Or at least it gets you there faster. <laughs> oh. Hello, Currents. I guess you go where I want to. So I, I don't feel the need to change forms. Ooh, maybe I should have... Okay, made it. Oh, I wanted to get the thing. The spirit of a Juliet from the kelp forest. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting the thing. Another arcane poultice. So now we get to go past all the completely non-threatening wall things. Maybe they deal tons of damage, but I've literally never been hit by one. Uh... Okay. Watch, I'll like, accidentally get hit by one, randomly, and I'll just die outright. <laughs> and I'll be like, oh man, should have saved after doing that one fourth of this quest. Maybe I should save after returning from this end, anyway. Uh, let's go down to reveal more of the map for some reason. Oh man, I am indeed poisoned. Uh, I think I am going to heal up, just to make sure I don't die on the way back to save point. i use a leeching poultice even. I'll, I'll, I'll succeed at using items, because that's actually the most difficult part of the game, so you, you need to practice it. Oh, I'm already poisoned again. I think this time I'm going to tough it out.
No, that's a wall. Also, my hit points are actually looking pretty dangerously low. Let's, uh... Use something. Let's use all my sea loaves. That provides almost a hand roll of healing. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're just hoping I don't get hit on the way back to the save point. Uh, I don't like that plan. I can make... Probably two hand rolls is best, because I only have two leaves. Uh, where's a meat that I want to use? Fish meat? Yeah. Being cautious, because that's exciting. Wait. Cautious and exciting are not the same thing. It is, however, probably good playing. Okay. So I'm still poisoned. Maybe I should have just leeching poultice, because I am poisoned. Oh, it wore off. <laughs> oh, hi, wall thing. Oh. Alright, going up. And I think we're safe now. Oh, there's still things. Okay, I made it past him, and now I believe we're safe. Just get to go back to the save point, so I didn't need to use either of those hand rolls, but I consider it still the right thing to have done. And I didn't use like an arcane poultice, that would have been overkill. Places with no map. <sighs> or rather, with the map currently disabled because it's not bright enough. Not taking advantage of the fact that I'm Solar Girl Nija. Alright. So go back through here. And then we do the left half. And then we rescue Lee. And we also get a song I'll spoil, randomly. Uh, I want to go left, actually. Because down there is where Lee is. Down here is where the actual path is. Oh! I ate it! And it doesn't give any projectiles. It's kind of funny that the tail kind of drags behind you. Oh man, I'm bad. Uh, I guess it might almost make sense to wait out it a little before healing up to make sure I'm not wasting the heal plus two on the leeching poultice, but um, I didn't. No, it's bright enough down here, randomly. Alright. Still going places. Might as well get the top one first because the current works in our favor that way. Yep, this is still the correct way. I don't think I'm going to attack those things with beast form. <laughs> if I was going to kill him, I would probably pull off the shell actually. Here's kind of biggish. Oh yeah, and you can get to the two ends here without returning to this room. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> Guess he popped out a little late. Oh. Uh, I could have kept going around, but I guess I'm going this way. Maybe I should kill one of those just to see if it drops something unique that I can get. Oh hey, stuff. Get stuff. Oh, another spicy roll. Uh, yeah. Taking form is cool. Yeah, kill the poisonous thing. I don't really care about the lightning things, but kill this poisonous thing. Okay, you weren't listening. 
there's another poisonous thing here around somewhere. Also, I think the poison things is killing these jellyfish things. Alright. Whoa! I don't like you or your face. If you had a face. I'm preemptively not liking these things, his face. Alright. Now I won't get poisoned on my way out. Uh, maybe I'll kill these things. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! Dodging stuff! Dodging stuff. I think that fall was a death animation, not just him deciding he wanted to be on another wall. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the death animation theory. Oh, hi. Whoa, that's a lot of guys. I wish there were like some health plants or some health jellyfish or some normal enemies that drop health. You know, literally any sorts of health besides using the arcane poultices that they keep giving me. Because I want to save the arcane poultices for a, a boss. I guess what I should have been doing instead of dealing with the poisonous enemies is just, um, shielding up. Oh, Volcano Roll! I imagine that's energy shot plus two. Yep, for 45 seconds. What's that recipe? Spicy Roll Red Bulb Spicy Soup. So it's got, like, extra spicy. I guess, yeah, that was obvious. Oh, that was the correct color. And here's our arcane poultice. Customary. I am going to use a healing item of some sort to... Uh, yeah, I still had a sea cake. I have some jelly oil. I should make, um... Once I have some leaves again, I should make some of the plus two healing things. Whatever they were called. Healing Poultice instead of Leaf Poultice? I think those are the two names. Okay, so these electric things, they also aren't a fan of dropping health, apparently. I wonder if they can give jelly oil. They seem jelly-like, they just aren't into dropping health. Oh, hi. Because, you know, the later in the game you get, the less likely it is that enemies will drop health. I don't know if that's actually a rule that's held for like any part of this game, but um, I'm randomly stating it as if it's a rule, and a lot of people will believe me. It's at least true of other games. Okay, there's nothing worth getting over there. I verified it experimentally. No, oh, hi. You can get killed. I thought I saw some projectiles come from- Oh! Hi! Let go. Okay. Yeah, so, we're being careful for some reason now? Oh. Get a thing. Do I get- Divine Soup. What does that do? Speed plus two and heal plus five? I've never found this recipe. Um, yeah, defense plus three, of course, is turtle soup. Divine soup, royal soup, and magic soup. I don't have either of those recipes, and I've never had them. <laughs> Finding new stuff on this playthrough. I guess I just took the down path the other time, or just didn't notice that somehow? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with the down path theory. <laughs> I 
I really should just take basic form and shield up. It would be safer in a lot of cases. Alright. We have like five arcane poultices because we got four this episode and I already had one. Oh. Getting all kinds of spirits. By retrieving the four spirits, I gained the power to free Lee from his prison. Yes. So let's shield up. And we'll have taunt. Because we said shields up. Except I didn't pluralize it the first time. So it was pretty much not the same thing at all. Oh! It's dark here. So that gives up my shield. Uh, hi. If I remember correctly, these things take way long to kill, so I'm not considering it worth it, especially because I would need to, like, keep form swapping just for the temporary light and then the attack. Or I could let my pet do literally all the work, but that would take even more forever. I guess, actually, you can just stay out of range and shoot them. But, I mean, that that's the way to kill them that makes sense. Oh, I'm clawed. Pet, can you get it? I don't think I'm taking damage here. Alright, I just didn't feel like swapping forms. Yeah, I've definitely been through that passageway before. No, oh, it's, it's our friend, the Nautilus things. Oh! And one hit me. Alright. Shields up. Hopefully nothing like melee attacks me to death. That would be kind of... I would need to replay things. <laughs> that's the only effect it would have. But you know, that's as bad as any death penalty is in any game. You need to replay things. I want to make sure this shield doesn't wear off, so that's why I keep recasting it, like, every second. Or, you know, every eight seconds, I don't know. Oh, that was close. I think that would have killed me. I am not having very many hit points at the moment. I know I'm out of projectile territory, but I recast it once more anyway. Hmm, I guess I should go to Lee and then Yosef. Even though I have this like red border on my screen. Alright. Um, I forget the order you do these, but all these crystal things have colors on them. Um, I actually looked up the solution to this the first time. Um, so they seem to react to that. They seem to react to any note that I sing though. And I don't know what order you want to do them in. See, like this is one of them. And then like this. And this. No. Yeah, I know it's related to the colors of these. I just... Don't know the order, don't... And I'm bad at matching colors, as we've seen a million times. trying to match the song that's going on in the background here. But I'm bad at that, too. Ah! Got it! <laughs> I am not super great with matching tones. Alright.
So I didn't actually do any color matching there. And in dual form, Lee and I would bond together to become one new being. Our combined form had two sides, and by using each side properly, we could unleash a devastating attack. So this is green form, which I think of as Lee form, even though it's apparently a unison form. And if you swirl, you can swap, and I can't actually use the swap attack yet, because you gotta kill three things with the, um, this attack first, and then it charges it up. Oh yeah, spin the curse around Nigel nice to sw switch sides in dual form. Oh, I guess in dual form, not unison form. I need to go save, though. For health reasons and for ending the episode reasons. I'm going the right way, right? That is not how you bring up the map. Okay, yeah, going the right way. So, uh, yeah, you, you kill three things with the uh, charged projectiles, and then you charge up in the other form, and you can do, like, a screen-destroying attack. And you have no uncharged attacks in that form. So I often still like energy form just for the convenience of spam and click instead of having to think about holding and then releasing to do the attacks. But uh, anyway, I'll be using that form extensively next episode and see ya!